tired of having your email campaigns limited by your email credits? In this video, I show you three ways to send unlimited emails on LinkedIn. Let's dive in. First technique you can use to send unlimited emails on LinkedIn is to message open profiles because every email that are sent to open profiles are completely free. Okay, so here is what it looks like to, to message an open profile. So like on any other profile, you click on more and message here and here you're going to see a special inbox appear with the mention here free message and if i click on why i'm going to see a little bit the linkedin documentation and here you got the open profile premium feature allow anyone on linkedin to contact a premium now for free if, even if they're not in the sender network so here you can see that you can contact um, this person uh, without sending um, an email and spending an email credit. So if I make a test here, so like in a um, regular email, I'm not uh, forced to add a subject. So you can write a plain message. And here, I'm just gonna send a test. So I'm sending a message to myself and we're gonna see how it looks like um, in the inbox. So I will, I'm going to quickly log in. And if I go into my inboxes, you're gonna see that here I get the mention email and the beginning of the message on so the subject, but the message has landing directly into uh, my regular inbox like the other messages here. So that's the manual way to do it. Now let's see how to scale these techniques for your email campaigns. To scale open profiles contact, you need two things. One, to quickly and automatically identify open profiles and two, to have a tool that can automatically send emails to your prospect. Okay, so if you are sending emails, I guess you are a sales navigator user or a LinkedIn recruiter user. So for this example, I'm gonna show you how to scale the identification of open profiles on sales navigator. So for that, you can use Evaboot, that is a Chrome extension that allows you to extract, clean, filter uh, your prospect list on sales navigator and automatically identify open profiles. So here I got the list, a prospect list ready. And the only thing I have to do is to click on extract with Everboot here and just name a list here and launch the extraction. And here you can see that the extraction has been launched. And now after that, after my results are ready, I can download the file in just one click here. And now I'm going to show you how the file looks and how you can identify open profiles with it. Okay, so this is what a Neverboot Extractions looks like. So you get first name, last name, clean by the cleaning algorithm, prospect position, company name, company domain, industry, every uh, information available on LinkedIn. And one of the column is prospect is open profile. So for this column, you get two value, true or false. And here you can see that if I here check true, in just one click, I've identified all the open profiles in my sales navigator list here. So here I can see that all these profiles here are open profiles. So potentially I can send free emails to them and save a lot of my email credits. Second step is now to take this file and to upload it into an email automation tool. For that, you can use uh, Expandy or LinkedIn Helper. I will leave the link of these two tools in the description. For this video, I will show you how to do this on LinkedIn Helper. Okay, so I'm on LinkedIn Helper right now. And what I need to do is to create a new campaign. I will name it email campaign. Add my prospect. So here I'm going to click to add contact and upload um, a CSV. So here upload profile from CSV, choose file, and then I'm going to take this file here and then import it like this. And once my uh, prospect list is uploaded, I can uh, create my uh, outreach sequence. And so uh, LinkedIn Helper will add a classic default sequence, but with LinkedIn Helper, you get the possibility to add um, email sendings so email to second third degree contact and this way you just need to upload uh, your prospect list um, set this step write your message here no need to add a subject because um, you don't need to add a subject for open profiles like we saw before and just press start and you're going to be able to 
um, send unlimited emails like this. If you feed uh, this campaign with new open profiles uh, every week, every day, every month, you're going to be able to send unlimited emails with this campaign. One really important thing to know is that you can't send follow-ups with emails. So with emails, you get only one shot to get a reply. If um, your prospect doesn't reply to your email with LinkedIn Helper, you can try to add um, next steps. So for example, we could say that if someone um, doesn't reply to my email, I can uh, add him on LinkedIn and then send a classic LinkedIn message. But I can try to the email as a first step. Another really important thing to know is to understand that every email that gets a reply is refunded. So you can see this on the LinkedIn documentation here. Every email message that is accepted, declined or responded to directly with 90 days of it being sent is credited back. A pending email message isn't continued as it is accepted or declined. As part of the LinkedIn message experience, quick replies to email message also count as a reply. So if um, you get a reply every time you send an email, you will get unlimited email credits. So really take the time to create really good and really structured prospecting messages because potentially if you get a reply every time you send an email, you will get unlimited email credits because every email credits will be credited back to you every time someone reply. So in terms of prospecting campaign, what you can do is separate uh, your prospecting campaign in two parts, the open profiles and the closed profiles. So if the prospect is open profile, you can send an email directly. And if uh, you don't get a reply, you can fall back on your classic uh, LinkedIn outreach campaign where you send an invite first. And then if the invite is accepted, you can send a message. And if the invite is not accepted, you can try to find the email of your prospect and to try the, an email outreach. Second technique you can use to send unlimited emails on LinkedIn is to message LinkedIn group members. To use this technique, you first need to be part of the LinkedIn group. So make a request and get accepted by the admin first. And once you get in the group, you can click on see all here to see all the members and LinkedIn allow you to send a direct message to all the group members without being connected to them. So here, for example, I can click on message and you can see that I can send a message to anyone without uh, sending a connection request first. This is exactly the same thing for LinkedIn events. So once you are signed up to a LinkedIn event, you just need to go on the networking tab here. And here you are able to message anyone that attend to this event. I will send a test message for you guys. So, oh, doesn't work. I'm gonna refresh this and click on message. And if I try to contact my profile, we're gonna see how it looks like um, in the inbox. So log out, log in to my account. And see the message here so it will not land directly into the inbox but into uh, the message requests inbox here and you can see that I get the name of the event here we have in common and if I click here we get a message so normally um, you got um, a notification here on red like a, a red notification with a, you got a new message request I don't know why here um, we don't get it, but you got the message here in the message request inbox. So these messages are not exactly emails. And I think the reply rate will be lower with the group member and the event attendees strategy, because as you can see here, the messages do not land into the regular inbox, but the message request. So uh, my advice is to still prioritize the email strategy over the group a member and LinkedIn event strategy because your reply rate will obviously be lower uh, with um, with uh, this technique. But honestly, if your message is really relevant, you can still try this technique for this business. Maybe it will work and you will get good results. If you want to extract uh, LinkedIn group members or LinkedIn event attendees uh, into a CSV, you can use Phantom Buster to do this. So um, they got um, LinkedIn event guest exporter and for the group members, they get 
uh, linking group member structure as well. So you can use uh, Fondo Muster to get this information into a CSV and to see if they are uh, open profiles. If you want to do uh, linking group members or LinkedIn event campaigns, remember to split these campaigns from your regular campaigns because as I shown you, you can send direct messages to uh, to these people so you don't need to add the connection request step. Like for the emails, you can maybe fall back on the on the classic campaign if you don't get a reply to your first message. So let's say you you send a first message to the to the message request inbox, you don't get a reply and then you fall back on the classic campaign with a connection request and a message, a classic message that will land uh, in the e main inbox. Uh, after that. If you are interested in getting better at uh, LinkedIn lead generation, you can check the two videos suggested just right here. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.